with Centre Stage presented by JD Sport. Centre Stage will be your hub for everything going on during the Women's World Cup. From now till the 21st of August, we'll be bringing you all the best topics, hot takes, predictions and everything in between. I'm Chrissa and this is Samuel. Um, each week we'll be joined by a special guest and we'll be bringing you all the most exciting and engaging conversations throughout the tournament. On the couch over here each week, we'll be joined by former Junior Matildas captain and current Cambridge United defender, the incredibly talented Emma Ilioski. Thank you so much. <laughs> Excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Emma today, we have football podcaster, SBS Sports and BN Sports presenter, the wonderful yeah. Kat Sasso. Hey, you took me off. Guys, I'm here as well. I mean, I don't have like a, a special uh, intro like that, like maybe let him shoot guy handsome um, <laughs> Very true. Very now true. center stage host so i guess it's, it's it's building up but before we start the episode you guys everybody out there all the fans all the viewers watching we need you guys to like share subscribe engage in the content comment because we'll talk about what you want to talk about and we'll say things that you want to hear us say so here we go and also, little little quick thing before before we get this started, put my water down. <laughs> we have this Matilda's away kit, Sam that Kerr, really nice. beautiful, nice fit, and it could be yours. Wow! But you got to do a few things. We're not just going to give it away. Yeah, yourself. we're not just going to give it to anybody, <laughs> yeah. right? So the first thing you got to do is make sure on Instagram you're following Let Em Shoot and JD Sport. That's the first thing. Easy. Second thing, you got to go to YouTube and you got to press subscribe on the Let Him Shoot account. Again, you got to press subscribe on the Let Him Shoot account because we don't need TikTok anymore. We definitely That's don't need that. Old news. What's that? 100, 100, 100. Six, six digits? We don't yeah, need that. Don't worry about we it. definitely <laughs> don't need that. But then the last thing you got to do is you got to go into the comments and you got to comment hashtag Goat Kerr. Goat Kerr, Sam Kerr, if you didn't get it. There you go. You win your own kit and uh, we'll announce the winner next episode. Next episode. Easy. Good luck. All right, guys. The The World Cup is less than 10 days away. Kat, how, how are you feeling with the tournament being so close? I'm really nervous, but, like, not nervous in a way that, like, I I'm, I'm think I'm more nervous about the fact that, like, the Tillies can act. Like, we've got the chance. We can actually 100%. do it. We can yeah. do, we can just take home the whole thing. Yeah. And that's what I'm nervous about. Thanks. I'm not nervous about the fact that we might, like, do shit. And, am I allowed to swear? Yeah. 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 Say whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just wanted to double check. Um, yeah, I'm not nervous about the fact that we might – you know, bomb out. I'm more nervous about the fact that we've actually got the potential to win the whole thing. hundred yeah. percent. Emma, how are you feeling? I can't believe how close it is considering it feels like it was so long ago when they finally announced that Australia's hosting the World Cup. I, I couldn't believe yeah. it, like unreal. So to think it's only 10 days away, I, yeah, I'm so excited. And the World Cups always fly past way too quick. So I'm really going to savor every single moment. I'm going to savor like even now the lead up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But especially 100%. when we're in there, I'm just, yeah, can't believe it. So excited. It's also so exciting because obviously being from Australia, we don't get to host a lot of big Bugs. tournaments and we yeah. get to watch all the games at normal times. So we don't oh have to be up God. at no, 3 a.m. <laughs> like we can just watch a game while we're having dinner. We can watch a game at, you know, go to bed at a decent hour. Yeah, It's, um, <laughs> it's so exciting. And like you said, when we got – the news that we were get to, got to host the tournament. Every time I see that footage, I get oh goosebumps. Gosh, yeah, like, yeah. It is so exciting that it's on home soil. And like Kat said, it's nerve wracking because the Matildas can go all the way and totally. they're going to have a massive point to prove. Mm. I mean, how are you feeling? I'm gassed. I'm actually <laughs> gassed. Yeah. Because I think when, when we did find out about it, like it, the reality doesn't really set in of mm. the whole how big the Women's World Cup is and how big the World Cup is in general. And I think to have the biggest women's sporting event ever... Yeah. be literally just totally outside yeah. it's literally just how you go out there you can see everybody immersed enjoying the culture mm -hmm. and i think that's the biggest thing for me i mm -hmm. think i'm very excited to see like the aussie fans get behind not just the matildas but be at every game and see how that 100%. sort of goes totally. as well um emma being a player yourself um how do you feel this world cup like what does it mean for women's sport and just the women's sporting landscape in general yeah obviously like really hard to explain i think something that kind of goes understated is the fact that it's not just going to impact the players and and you know girls in football but it's also going to be like the coaches the opportunities you know for staff members for yeah. media for photographers like for everything Facts. as a whole it's not just going to be ooh, not just going to be about the players but yeah. yeah I think as a whole women's football is going to take off and the records that we see like you know with the Champions League finals yeah. the Euros like that's just going to become normal and yeah. can't wait for that yeah what about you, Kat? Like being a presenter yourself, that's a massive thing having yeah. female presenters, female commentators, like 
um, Emma said, coaches, everything. It definitely opens so many doors for yeah. women. Like I know for me, like I've had so many opportunities pop up because this has been happening. And yeah. it's just like one of those things that the competition is expanding. It's going to be from 24 to 32. So we've got so many more nations. It's going to be like the most attended event in women's football yeah. history. So like the fact that we are able to do that here, that's huge. It's amazing. And there's so many opportunities for women. Like we get to sit here and talk about women's yeah, football. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Like it's amazing. Yeah, so if do. you if you kind of think about it, when would you ever sit prior to this and just talk about women's football? Mm. You don't, it doesn't happen. Exactly. Even yeah. growing up playing, like we didn't even we didn't have women's teams to look up to. Women's sport wasn't this exciting. It wasn't a big deal. Like when I was playing in the Premier League in Canberra, we had to play an ex Matilda come and play with us. I had no idea who she was until mm. she started playing yeah. with us. Yeah. Imagine if an ex Matilda came and played with you now, you'd be yeah, you'd be throwing up. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's just you'd be yes. throwing up. Exactly. <laughs> see, um, yeah. see what I I got Chris is saying gassed now. <laughs> I think I said facts the other day and I scared myself. I was like, what? Wait a minute. Um, but yeah, Samuel, how do you feel? You know, a male talking about women's sport. It must be crazy for you to see how much the women's game yeah. has grown. I think from. Everyone has like family that are that are women or girls that play football and you go and watch the games and I think to see how far it's come from when, when we used to even like my mum used to play and that was like like you know, it's just like it's it's so weird to imagine that how far this this game's come for women and how far it's come for me to be sitting here and talking getting to talk about this. Yeah. A show presented by J D Sport <laughs> talking about the women's world cup. It's Crazy. it's surreal. It's a massive pinch me moment. The whole yeah. the whole thing, this show, mm -hmm. the Women's World Cup, everything. Um, now, I think we should do some predictions with the tournament <laughs> coming up. Um, yep. Let's see, Emma. What do you reckon? Who do you reckon is going to be a dark horse? We'll surprise everyone with their their results this tournament. Yeah, I think Portugal might be a bit of a dark horse. Yep. Jessica Silva um, being unreal in the lead up, and I think they're going to shock a lot of people. They're in a group that they could realistically like do really well, yep. and I think they've flown under the radar a little bit with some of their results. Um, Drew with England in their farewell game at, um, in England at home, like for England's home. So I think that'll be huge. But I think that's going to be a lot. Yeah. And I don't yeah. want to beat around the, you know, yeah. Yeah. not give a certain answer. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think Give I'm, us an answer. Yeah, I know. But I think I'm really excited for Portugal and yeah. see what they can I, offer. I thought Portugal as well. They also, I think, had, if not the longest, one of the longest runs. They played 13 games mm. to qualify for the tournament. Damn. Um, so, and this is their, um, their first time in the tournament too. So I think, you know, they worked so hard to get here. They're not going to go out easily. Obviously, yeah. they have USA in their group. And Netherlands, who are both final uh, finalists at the last World Cup, but I just feel like I don't know. I feel like they've got this fire in their belly, and they're going to do really well. What about 100%. you, Kat? I think another side that flies really under the radar, Italy. Yeah, they have kind of like they did really well at one point. They won like the Euros, and then they dropped off again. But I think they're kind of gotten over that period of transition now, where they've got like Giacinti and Girelli, and they're like. Yep. They're, they're a bit terrifying because going into the group, I just think that they've got something that people people aren't really paying attention to. Yep. So I think they're going to just come out of it the other side and just going to like terrify everybody. Love that. That's where I'm at. That's radar. what I think, mm. yeah. Samuel, your dark horse of the tournament? I mean, as much as they, they're how informed they are, I don't think many people would have sat here and said that England would have won the World Cup, the Women's World Cup. But I think the form that they're in and, and how good they've looked since the Euros, I think definitely... For them, I think a big thing is being able to win away from home, yep. not winning in in England. I guess that's that's a that's very difficult, and they've done some done something that the men haven't been able to do in recent years, and and that's that's actually get it done, bring, bring it something home, home yeah. you know. <laughs> oh but God. yeah, yeah, for me, that's that's what uh, I've been looking at. So yeah. Um, and what are you looking most forward to, Samuel, for the? <laughs> I think for me, it's the overall vibe. The vibe of the tournament being yep. like actually enjoying it. Like you said, not going to sleep at 3 a.m., not going to sleep at <laughs> not 4 a.m. Not setting alarms for the games. Yeah. Not going to be bags under my eyes. <laughs> like I'm going to be feeling good going, watching the games. Just like, you know, going to the game and having a beer. Yeah. So yeah. that's me. Had a decent time. I love that. Emma, also, what are you looking most forward to? <laughs> also... Anybody want to get me some some tickets or something? Just <laughs> yeah, let me know. We're not going to Madrid's game yet, so yeah, I mean, yeah. the oh dream team here. The, ga the games haven't the games haven't started, and I know uh, there's some free seats available in in any game. So <laughs> put two beers there. Me and Chris box will be seats, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hospitality. Maybe yeah. maybe a box even. Maybe a yeah. box. <laughs> we don't ask for much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Emma, what are you most looking forward to? Yeah, besides the obvious, obviously, um, World Cup at home. Not waking up at three a.m. But I think also one thing it's been. 
a theme for all of the teams that have so many exciting young players that are kind yes. of mainstays in the team now. They're not, you know, just coming for experience. But like even Switzerland just, you know, gave a, a gave one cap to someone three days later. They got signed, in, like not sorry, not signed. They got um included in the squad for the Matildas, like you know Cooney Cross Fowler. Yep. Grant like in the team now and contributing so much. So I think yeah, every t- every team has so many exciting youngsters. So I think really excited to see that shine through. Love Works. that, Cat. What are you most looking forward to? I'm just excited to be able to like go and watch these games. Like we're all saying, like yeah, we're not gonna have to watch these at 3 a.m. Like it's great, we can watch them at normal times, but we can actually go, go to the and watch yeah. football in a packed stadium, which is like relatively rare here sometimes. Yeah. So the fact yeah. that like <laughs> you can go and watch a packed stadium game of world class football, I'm just literally like that's the I'm just so excited. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> I just shaking. like I know how I'm sort of the same. I know how like crazy Aussies are about sport and I feel like with the A-League sometimes like Melbourne City a great example this season like not getting the crowds at the stadiums I feel like so many games are going to be packed and the atmosphere is going to be crazy and I'm just I'm so excited to go to games myself and see you know see the talent and the quality and how much the women's games evolved and just you know even when the excuse me when the women's Euros was on just watching some of the goals that were scored like Mm. the women's game is just getting better and better and I just I can't wait um now, Kat, who do you think is going to be player of the tournament? <sighs> Big shout, I know. Honestly, I need a definite answer the here. Aussie bias, like it has to be Sam oh, Kerr. It yeah. can't not be. You know what I mean? Like there's no other logical answer for me First. aside from her. I have the <laughs> like, <laughs> answer. I think like, everyone's you just, just – You can't not back her and the Matildas. Especially yeah. if they get far. Like you yeah. can't not. It can't, it can't not yeah. be her. Like and there's no – I think she's a big shout for top goal scorer too. Yeah. Golden boot, I'm not sure. Yeah. Emma, do you feel the same? Yeah, no. Don't even need to bother coming. Yeah, to yeah. I agree. <laughs> not even, it's not even a question. Yeah, I'm, I'm Are we all in uh, Well, I was, <laughs> but I'll just say someone, someone different, different because um, <laughs> I think Ella Toon from England, she's yeah. – 23 year old um, she's very exciting extremely dangerous I think she can mm-hmm. score she plays behind the striker so mm-hmm. I think she can create and score and then if England do well which I have a feeling they might yeah. I think she can get the award yeah. good shout now there's been a little bit of drama with some teams leading up to the tournament and I feel like this could potentially you know cause some teams to underachieve Emma, who do you think is going to underachieve this tournament yeah I think it's a tough one because obviously you don't want to wish that upon a team yeah. going to a world cup I will <laughs> but yeah, okay. so but someone has chairs. to. Yeah, yeah, someone's going to underperform. I think obviously, like Spain, that everything's going on off the field. But in a way, I also think I have a feeling that maybe I love the Netherlands, but I think maybe without their star striker Miedema, that they rely on her for a lot of creativity yeah. and and goals. So I think they have a really good squad, but I think they might not. And especially with my dark horse Portugal in the same group, I yeah. think it might be US yes, Portugal. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think that it could be a potential. Totally. Kat, who do you think is going to underachieve? Um, I'm really going like out of – out of. I don't know. People are going to think I'm insane, but I really do think that the USA is just not going to be able oh, to get it yes, done. Yes, I <laughs> love that. was that. my answer yeah. as well. <laughs> because on the basis that like they're, they're in a weird period right now because mm-hmm. they've got all their old players that are kind of like retiring, like Megan Rapino, She announced her retirement the other day. Like, yeah. But then they've also brought in so many young players. So it's like a weird transition period of like – they don't know. I don't. I feel like they're just they're, they're not that they're same, not that same that, 2019 yeah. squad that yes, they had. Yes. So like yeah, like I I just don't think they're going to no, be able to do it. That's a good chat. I love that. Yeah. And you agree? Oh, I bloody agree. I tell <laughs> you. Bloody agree. I'm because not hoping for it, but realistically, like, uh, if USA don't win, they underachieve. Yeah. Based off purely, you guys see their ad that they put out before mm, that's before also the tournament. Why I'm kind of like, oh yeah. man. No you guys are too much confident. That's what I'm saying. You're too confident. You're too confident. You think you're coming here and winning the whole tournament, which I really hope you don't (laughs) because I'm telling you, USA are going to be the biggest underachievers and when they go home, I'll be there at the airport doing this. <laughs> Telling them, see you later. What is messy? Yeah. Samuel's in the airport. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> these, guys, these guys pretending that everybody wants to be the USA. You see there? You see yeah. that? Oh, yeah. everybody I mean, wants to be there. I mean, to be, be fair, there. the ad was a G-up because uh, it was like a cinematic masterpiece, but it like also so shut up. It was shot so <laughs> shut amazingly. I, I agree. I agree. But I also feel like winning's part of their DNA. Like yeah. it's like players go in there and they're winners. Like they're, you know, yeah. so I think like I agree. The young I don't want, I don't want to see the US win. Yes. I don't want to see them win at all. But like they're in that team because they're winners and that's yeah. the only thing that they're going to this World Cup, they're winning. Yeah. That's I it. think also in their group, they've got um, Portugal and Vietnam who are debutants in the competition. Mm. So they're probably like, 
oh, we've got, the you know, they, they yeah, feel like hopefully exactly, they are complacent, you know, <laughs> yeah, hopefully our dark horse, yeah, you know, <laughs> spices it up a little bit. They'll get Australia in, in one of the knockout rounds before the final. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, it, it reaches in. And when yeah. it comes, when That's it comes down to that, we'll see. 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 We'll Australia. And I'm going to. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to. Well. I think especially. Okay, we're not allowed to say Australia then for the answer. Boo. Sure. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, that's All fine. right. Well, I just want to say something quickly about Australia. Just because they had such a disappointing run in the Asian Cup, I just think they just have a point to prove being on home soil. Like, I don't know. Like you said, there's just something. There's something there. I, it, I just feel like this is this is their time to win it. But I won't give, you know, I won't dance around I feel like coming off the back of the Euros I feel like England are just they're looking so good and so dominant I feel like they might because I'm allowed to say Australia I feel like <laughs> England might take it Samuel what do you reckon I mean I was gonna say Australia but <laughs> same <laughs> but I think Who's making the final? I don't know what the corresponding thing is because England USA are all on the same side as yeah. Australia oh, yeah, so I'm not really sure what the other side is but yeah, I don't. I to be honest, my answer was going to be Australia, and and if I can't say Australia, I'll say England because I feel like that's the only team that can potentially knock us out. Yeah, because USA won't. USA uh, won't. I, if it's not Australia, because obviously it's going to be Australia. Obviously. That was my answer. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I don't know. I don't know if Norway would actually win it, win the whole thing, but I feel like they'll go pretty pretty far. Yeah, and I think they've got such. They've got such a stacked squad, it makes me feel a bit sick. So, like, <laughs> they've fair. actually got, like, a decent potential chance mm-hmm. of winning the whole thing too. Yeah. But, like, they, again, are one of those ones that just flies under the radar. But yeah. they've got, like, Hege Riza as their coach who won the World Cup yeah. back in the day. Like, if that's not a sign, then I don't know what is, but I don't want to think about it. So oh, Interesting. <laughs> Emma? Yes. Um, obviously, the toughest question of them all. It's, like, you know, huge to even think – I don't even want to think that far ahead yet, but yeah. <laughs> I think I think it'll be yeah, Australia in the final. I I would like to see uh, maybe France because they're usually underperforming in big tournaments, yeah. so they could potentially and they've got a lot of you know good players that you know at Lyon like the best club, one of the best female clubs in the world. So I think that's a big one. Otherwise, like I'm a big fan of Spain, and now that they have you know Potatoes back and Bonmati, who's in incredible form after Champions League. Um, that could also be a potential too. So, yeah, I think I would like to see Spain, Australia final. I feel cool. like Germany I've could go far too. Especially like, revenge after the Euros yes, could be like huge. They just yeah. – they have a pretty stacked squad too. And I don't know, they could also be one of those teams that maybe flies under the radar mm-hmm. a bit. It's like – it's going to be so exciting. But I just – I can't – you can't not say – I know we said we can't say Australia, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's just like speaking about the Matildas, like – obviously having Ellie Carpenter make the squad and like all these young players coming mm. in, I just, there's such a special vibe around this team. And I just, it's just like the first time that the whole country's gotten behind them, you know, yeah. like yeah. it's because like, yeah, it's on home soil, but it's almost like, makes me feel a bit like emotional, which is like weird because it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. the first time that you've got the entire country, especially coming off the back of the men's world cup too. Yep. There was so much hype around that, that that's kind of, trickled into this now and you've got the whole country behind them and it's huge they are like i think now the most loved team australian, in Austra- squad australian squad like yeah. they're just yeah. how can you not love them i mean yeah. and tony gustafson too like he's just the sweetest man and he's so <laughs> yeah. determined to make this team do and well. honestly like props to him too because like it wasn't looking good it was a journey it was a journey. not looking it was, good and i was yeah. like get this man out of here <laughs> he yeah. almost, but I, honestly yeah. i retract that yeah. statement yeah. we love it oh, tony bless. We but love i think you, everybody tony. was yeah. Yeah. yeah like it was yeah. not looking good so, so the pressure. fact that yeah he's turned it around is mm. massive mm. yeah definitely kat it's been so nice having you here with us today Thanks. It's been really lovely to be here. It's so um, exciting. We just we love you. Um, I love you guys. What too. What's going on with you for the next month or so? What What's okay? Your involvement. I actually haven't told anyone. Like I haven't said this out loud in public yet. But I'm oh, exclusive. Going let him yeah. share. Wait, wait. So you're allowed to? <laughs> no, I am. I just Whoa! haven't. Like, no, I haven't said it you're anywhere it first. yet. Here we so go. This is a <laughs> first. Yeah. yeah. Shade room. I'm um I'm going to New Zealand. When does this drop? Today. Tonight. Yeah, so I'm going to New Zealand on Friday. <laughs> wow. Um, so I'm going to be working Hugs for FIFA. Yeah. Oh. Content for them in Auckland. 
So I'll be there for until the 16th. So that'll be until the first semi final, which is in Auckland. And then I come home and I'll be back for the final to watch the Matildas in the final. Well. Exactly <laughs> right. I'm a little bit devo that I'm not going to be here to watch any like of the group stage games. Yep. So I'm just like banking on them making it to the final. They'll so make it through at least you. watch them. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they do well. They better. <laughs> but that's me for the next month. So I'm going to be all over the shop, but I'm very excited. That is amazing. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds like an excellent job. Yeah. Mm. Um, Money's good, huh? <laughs> um, that I cannot disclose. Uh, the money's Ooh. good. Where are you staying? The accommodation. Oh, you can't probably don't disclose. <laughs> I'm not going to say I that mean, the, the accommodation's good. <laughs> the games are going to be good. I yeah. think. Um, I think you're. I get to go yeah. to all the USA's group stage games, so I'm yeah. very. Happy. Can you boo? Just boo. Can yeah. you boo? Yeah. <laughs> Every time oh, they I don't can know see. If professionally, I'm allowed to do that. Yeah, just, um, just especially because I'll be wearing like FIFA uniform, but I'll be like. I think if you like hold a sign next just to your face, like you do this. Just film from down. Make really. Like stare them down. That'll really intimidate them. Yeah. I think I definitely <laughs> think so. They're going to see you in the crowd. Like, oh, she's scary. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, and where can people find you? So you can find <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like where exactly? Where, what is your address? <laughs> yeah, like exact mail location. My exact PO box number. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't have a PO box. But you can find me on Instagram at Kat Sasso. Um, you can also find me. I'm laughing because my um, there was a whole, whole debacle with my user, my, with my handles. So a lot of people would know me by the at FC Booty Loner, which is yeah. me on TikTok. Oh, um, like, which has been a thing for like literally since I was like 14 years old. Oh, I, right, I appreciate yep. the applause. Thank you. <laughs> but that's my TikTok handle. And then on Twitter, I'm just Kat Sasso again because for Amazing. professional reasons I had to change it. And with, oh, with, with FIFA, you're just Kat Sasso as well? Well, they've actually, they sent out like a full professional like thing yesterday and it's oh. got my TikTok app. That's oh, amazing. And I'm like, FIFA's using FC BD Loner. I'm fucking, I'm keeping that exactly. forever. Yeah. 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 That's never going to change. It's now. You can uh, retract yeah, it. It's iconic, can't. iconic. If FIFA's okay with it, then like everyone else has to be. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I'm okay with it. You're okay with it? We're all okay with it. Yeah, you oh, had some questions for Kat. Sunday? Yeah, guys, uh, just before we, we finish, Kat, um, I had some questions for you that you couldn't prepare for. Okay, cool. So we wanted to get some real answers, <laughs> well, you know? I'm so excited. <laughs> and these are just some uh, more fun, like okay. make these, say whatever you want for these answers. Right. But the first question is, if you had to start yourself in the Matilda squad for the first group game, <laughs> what position would you <laughs> play <laughs> and how would you go? Um, I'm not good with my feet, but I'm, I was actually quite good as a goalkeeper. As a oh, yeah. oh, so oh, I'd, I'd, really yeah. oh, wow. I'd be taking that. And honestly, I think I wouldn't do too bad. Yeah, how many are we what? conceding? Um, Clean sheet. So if you, you're we're saying- we Ireland. I reckon okay, I'd be able to- oh, That go. was really rude. I go. feel like I'd be able to keep a clean sheet. I guess England, probably not a clean sheet, but against Ireland, maybe. So basically what you're saying is if you were in goals- All I'm saying For is the Matildas, you would keep a clean sheet. Like <laughs> right. You would keep a clean sheet? I love yeah. that answer. Perfect. And then the next question is, uh, if you get to pick three celebrities to sit in a box with you for the first Matildas game, who would you pick? Only three. Oh my God. Okay. Margot Robbie. Oh, okay. Oh, I Can I, I'm yeah. going to pick Home Aussie support. ones because like, why yeah, would I pick other course. random? For the know? Australia game. Yeah. yeah. Margot Robbie. I'm going to pick. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's so many. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick, really um, three. I'm going to pick Joel Selwood because like I'm a big AFL gal as well. Cool. I have okay. no idea. And also is, but Daniel sure. Ricciardo. Yeah. Daniel Ooh, Ricciardo's getting yeah. a spot in there. Wow. Because like, you know, you've got Joel Selwood. He's kind of old. So like, he's like, he'll be chill. Cool. Margot Robbie's like and, Barbie. And just for, so the, like, hello. Just yeah. for the people who don't know Joel Selwood. Joel Selwood played for Geelong. He retired oh, okay. last. No, no, I know him. I know him. But yeah. just for the, for the other people yeah. that He's don't know. He's an AFL legend. She's an AFL. I'm a Melbourne gal. Yeah, yeah. I'm an yeah. AFL gal. So, or maybe, yeah. I think, um, yeah, that's my three. No, Is that no final transfer? answer? Yeah, we, can, yeah. we, can, we can open the transfer market. One person out, <laughs> one person in. Or, no, nah, that's it. That's it. That's, okay. that's my yeah. answer. That's Amazing. And then the last one I had was, this one's a bit more serious. Okay. But you can make it if not if you joke. if you don't want to. Appreciate but it. who's your dream uh, women's female player collab, and what content piece would you create with them? Okay, so it can be whatever you want. My dream collab. Here we go. Would be with. Ooh, oh my god, this is so <laughs> stressful because like there's so many. I think um, I'm just gonna go Sam Kerr because like. Yeah, I can't even. I can't even put a finger that. on like who yeah. wouldn't. And also, because Samka doesn't really work with like Australian media very much, so it would be like huge to like work with her. Um, and honestly, get ready with me because she like her outfits yes. are I always banging. Bussin? Yeah, uh, banging. Yeah. So Good you day. guys, you and Samka would do a get ready with me. Would it be for any particular brand or? It would be for Nike. 
It would be for <laughs> Nike. <laughs> you and Sam Kerr would do a Nike. We'd yeah. be doing a yeah, Nike yeah. Get Ready With Me. Nike Get Ready With Unreal. Me. Dunks, you know. How yeah, dunks. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Wow. Um, well, this has been so fun. It, thank you. Kat, for thank you, you so much for coming. So fun being here. It's been a great, you know, great opener to have you as our first guest. Very much um, first guest. First guest. Mm. First of many. Such Get an excited, honor. everyone. It's such an honor. I can't wait to watch the rest. I and, know. and also, Emma. Big. Emma, amazing, oh, amazing. If, if, you guys, so if you guys fun. didn't know, this was Emma's podcasting debut. Yeah, you would not Emma's have known. You would not have known. Yeah. She's going to oh, be sitting here. Who would have thought? We might have to change. <laughs> we might have to change the um the hashtag to Goat Emma. Goat Emma, yeah. I think so. Confirm. <laughs> Take that. I've Sam. started that now. Yeah. Goat, yeah. Emma. Goat Emma. Goat Emma. Goat Emma. Just so you know, we didn't actually change it. So it's still, yeah, please, still, please still So if you want the kid and, and, you, and you comment Goat Emma, I don't think you'll get it. <laughs> but if you comment Goat Sam, you might. I mean, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll send you like a headshot of, yeah. of Emma. Yeah. Yeah. I'll organize something. Yeah. Like a photo. Yeah. Maybe like a cardboard cutout. Signed copy. Signed copy. Life size cardboard cutout. Um. Everyone, drop your comments below. Drop, you know, any questions, anything you want us to talk about. We've got um, till the 21st of August, episodes dropping each week throughout, Ooh. you know, throughout the <laughs> tournament. Very exciting Whatever. times ahead. Whatever. Um, and don't forget, Goat, goat Kerr to win goat Kerr. the jersey. She's you have to, to be subscribed to yeah. yeah. YouTube, <laughs> follow Instagram, JD Sport and let him shoot. Yep. Um, and, yeah, this has been Centre Stage. Get a glow Thank light. Thank you for sponsoring us, JD Sport, and we'll see you next week. Yep. Bye.